Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Taryn Packer. In today's video, I'd like to tell you how to create a local coordinate system that is oriented in a different direction from the global coordinate system in Simulia Abacus on the 3D Experience platform. Please note, not all users will be able to utilize the Model Prep app, which is essential to this method of setting up a coordinate system on the 3D Experience platform. Only those with the Structural Mechanics Engineer or Structural Performance Engineer roles will have access to the Model Prep app. Let's say we want to set up a force load on the top face of this bolt at a 45 degree angle from the ZX plane. This is not an option when the axis system is defined as global. We have two options to specify this direction. We can use the local or specify option. With the specify option, you change the local coordinate system directly. With the local option, you create a new coordinate system manually, then select it. We will be using the local option in this video. To do this, we need to create a new local coordinate system manually first. When setting up a simulation on the 3D Experience platform, some of the commands need the imported model to be changed. Some of these changes include things like adding points, lines, axes, planes, local coordinate systems, etc. These changes can all be done in the Model Prep app. To access this app in the action bar, click on the Standard tab, select the drop-down arrow next to the Model option, and select the Model Prep button. Before you can enter the Model Prep app, you need to tell the program which of the available bodies you would like to make changes to. Here we are going to keep the Select a Shape option activated and select the 3D shape on the top of the tree, which will include all the bodies in the assembly as objects that can be changed in the Model Prep app. With the 3D shape selected, any changes made in the Model Prep app will be under the 3D shape drop-down. We are now in the Model Prep app. You know you're in this app because the app updates and says Simulation Model Preparation. Plus, the action bar has different tools than were available in the previous app. In this example, we want to create a local coordinate system that sits right on the top of the bolt with a Z-axis that is angled 45 degrees from the ZX plane. To do this, we need to create a point and a line going in the correct direction. Having these additional elements will make it easy to snap the local coordinate system to the correct location and facing in the correct direction. Select the point button which will bring up the point creation dialog box. There are several options available to create points but we're going to use the Circle, Sphere, Ellipse, Center option. This will put a point right in the center of any of the geometries named in the command. In our case, we just need to select the edge of the bolt to create a point right at its center. To create the line at 45 degrees, we need to create two lines. The first line will be parallel to the ZX plane. To create this line, choose the Line Creation button. Like the point creation command, there are several options available to create lines. We are going to choose the point direction method. In the point field, choose the point that was just created, and for the direction field, choose the YZ plane. The length of the line would matter if we were putting the coordinate system at the far end of the newly created line, but we're going to put it at the start of the line so the length does not matter. To create the line that will be at the 45 degrees, we will again select the Line Creation button. This time we'll choose the Angle Normal to Curve method. In the Curve field, select the previously created line. In the Point field, select the point at the center of the bolt head. In the Support field, choose the surface that the line will be on. In this case, we'll choose the bolt head surface. Make sure the angle is set to 45 degrees 
and to reverse the direction, just put a negative sign in front of the 45 degrees. After clicking OK, you have a point and a 45 degree line to position and orient a local coordinate system with. To add the local coordinate system, choose the Axis System button. In the Origin field, choose the point you created. In one of the Axes fields, choose the line you created. Because we want the Z-axis to be at the 45 degree angle, we are going to click on the Z-axis field and click on the second created line. Now you can see a preview of the local coordinate system that will be created as soon as the OK button is selected. If you also want to orient the X and Y axes, then you need to put lines in either or both of these fields as well. Once finished, hit the OK button and a local coordinate system in the correct location and orientation will be created. To exit the Simulation Model Prep app, select the Exit App button in the Idealize tab. Now that the new local coordinate system is in place, it is an easy matter of selecting the Loads tab, choosing the Force Load, and specifying the local axis system definition by clicking on the new coordinate system and placing a Force Load in the direction that is needed. In this case, we will use the Force Z field and press OK. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a comment below. If you have a topic you would like us to cover in a future video, or for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more, visit GoEngineer.com, your number one online technical resource. Have a good day.